Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson number 61. Our keeping our beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to take care of the world. We need to save water. We need to use less energy. We need to, to stop polluting. We need to watch our daily actions. We need to protect our environment heart and soul. We can't keep wasting the water source. We can't keep abusing our environment. We need to change the way we live. We all need to work together to make our world a better place. Lesson 62, fight for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share an important quote with you. Yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is a dream live for today. I hope that you will try your best to use your unique talent to make the productive and fruitful. You cannot worry about your mistake of yesterday. You should not waste your energy worrying about what will happen tomorrow. The only thing you can control is what you do today. Make the most of today and you win everything. Thank you for your time and attention. As in the 63, a few tips for learning English. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to share a few tips for learning English with you. First, try to speak English as much as possible. This will train your tongue muscle. Second, trust your ability. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be trapped, don't be trapped by shyness. Third, don't let grammar trouble you. Don't be trapped by grammar rules. The more standards you speak, the more nature the grammar rules will become. Actually, the truth is, there are no truths in learning English. You must try your very best practice. Remember what parents train us. Thanks for your kind attention. I hope you try to speak English from today. Lesson 64, doing enough water is crucial. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about how important it is to drink enough water. Doctor says everyone need a glass a need to drink at least 8 glasses of water each day. If you are outside in warm weather or sunshine, you need to drink even more. If your mouth and throat feel dry, you are already dehydrated. Many headaches and other health problems are caused by not drinking enough water. If you want better health, you don't need to do anything drastic. You can simply drink, drink more water. Thank you for coming tonight and have a safe drive home. Lesson 65, the power of words. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the power of words. Words can express your feelings. Words can influence people. Words can hurt people. Words can encourage people. Words can start words. Words can end words. Words can help you become a successful speaker and a powerful leader. Words can help you win friends. That's why I feel puzzled about why Vietnamese students hate words. Students should love words and learn how to use their power. Words are beautiful and words should be our friends. That's why you should learn as many words as you can. Start learning and using new words today. As a statistic, I have fun learning English. Before you begin studying English, ask yourself one question. Why do I want to study English? Is it because you want to or because someone else wants you to? Like every decision, like every decision in life, studying English must be something you want to do. Once you have decided, then write out your goals and begin to practice good study habits. You can begin to practice good study habits. You can begin slowly, work from your regular practice of study in order to reach your goal. Have fun in English. The things we do best in life are the things we enjoy doing. If you are having fun learning English, then you are studying in the right way. Lesson 67, also here. I have also here to understand you. I'm also here to support you. I'm also here to love you. I'm also here to cry you. I'm also here to talk you. I'm also here to sing you. I'm also here to plan you. I'm also here to study you. I'm also here to get all crazy English with you. I'm also here to learn and grow with you. Even though we might not always, always be together. Please know that I am also here to love you. This is 68. I will keep on, no matter how difficult English is, I will keep on learning. No matter how terrible my pronunciation is, I will keep on repeating. No matter how many people give up, I will keep on working hard. No matter how people laugh at me, I will keep on practicing. No matter how many mistakes I make, I will keep on speaking. No matter how defeated I feel, I will keep on trying. No matter how many obstacles I meet along the way, I will keep on striving until I reach my goal. Lesson 69, mouth. I can't stand my poor English. I can't stand my shyness and laziness. I can't stand my 10 years of work to time. I can't stand being down upon. I can't stand being loved. 
I want to improve my situation. I want to change my life. I want to have confidence in myself. I want to build solid foundation for my future. I want to be successful. I want to be international. I don't want to let my parents down. I don't ever want to let my country down. Most importantly, I don't want to let myself down. Lesson 70. Rome was built in a day. Learning English is like building a house. Laying a strong foundation is the first and most important step. It are the words you should read and speak English every single day. Memorizing new words and phrases is also helpful. Don't be impatient. Your English will be better step by step, day by day, year by year. When you want to give up, remember that nothing can defeat a person who never give up. Rome was built in a day. If you want to learn English well, you need to have solid foundation in pronouncing and learn by heart. Sentence by sentence, passage brought out. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of being loved, catching the chance to speak, practice every single day. Make videos, that's a great way to learn English. Lesson 71. I have a great mother. I have a great mother. I think she's the most thoughtful person in the world. When I am sad, she's the most sympathetic. When I'm sick, she's the most concerned. When I'm in trouble, she's the most helpful. In fact, she's the most dependable person in the world. She's the closest person to me. She's not only my mother, also my best friend. Lesson 72. Learning English starts from where? Hi, my friend. Many students ask me, where should I start learning English from? This is a big question for new learners or for people who use to English learning plan and then fail and quit. So in this video, I will tell you what you really need to learn English and where to start very simple and fast. I know almost students worry about learning English, the thing, but uh, worry about learning English. But in fact, learning English and speaking English is, is not difficult as you think. Everyone knows how important English is, but not many people know how to start in the right way. First, you need the confidence and break all fear. All English learners speak English poorly before becoming excellent. That is the truth. Everyone made mistakes before getting better. Don't be sad and don't give up. If you speak English not well at the beginning time, it is normal speaking poor English. When you start learning, don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of being loud. You must enjoy. You must have good spirit to practice English every time you can. When others go out, go to sleep, you practice international mouth muscle. When others laugh at you, you keep smiling and keep moving. When others complaining, you're practicing speaking English. Then when they fail to catch up, you are successful. Sooner or later, you must conquer English. Why not now? Sooner or later, you must speak English fluently. Now study English seriously. Eh? Seriously, we start with the spirit of winners to have English person every day. To soon build English and learn habits. Learn English will be very easy if we like it and start in the right way. So where do we start? From the passion and love that super English can wake it from you. And then you can breathe through English every day. Every day you move your hand and practice pronunciation, practice international mouth muscle. Every day you shout out clearly English to break the fear. Every day you stand in front of people and show your English. Every day you you accumulate as many English standards and paragraphs as possible. After you dare to use English and talk to foreigners without any fear of losing face, without any fear of making mistakes, you can start learning English with all of those things in Super English, and you will improve every day through special Super English lesson. We will start practicing Super English in this video. Lesson 73, uh, the significance of failure. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure. It doesn't mean you haven't succeeded yet. Failure doesn't mean you, are, you, are, you have accomplished nothing. It doesn't mean you have lost something. Failure doesn't mean you have been a fool. It doesn't mean you had a long face. Failure doesn't mean you, you have been disgraced. It doesn't mean you were willing to try. Failure doesn't mean you are inferior. It doesn't mean you are not perfect. Failure doesn't mean you wasted your life, it doesn't mean you have a reason to start fresh. Failure doesn't mean you should give up, it doesn't mean you must try harder. Failure doesn't mean you will never make it, it doesn't mean it will take a little longer. Failure doesn't mean God has abandoned you, it doesn't mean God has a better idea. 
since 74, success chart. I feel great today. I am happy. I'm healthy. I love myself. I love people. People love me. I love English. English is super, super easy. I want to speak perfect English. Nothing can stop me. I never stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. I am a champion. We are champions. I want to change my life. Lesson 75. The spirit of Olympic game. You are my adversary, but you are not my enemy. For your resistance gives me strength. Your will gives me courage. Your spirit ignores me. And though I am to defeat you, should I succeed, I will not humiliate you. Instead, I will honor you. For without you, I am a less man. Lesson 76. You must enjoy losing face. If you want to speak English, you must enjoy losing face. You must enjoy making mistakes. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being loved. You must enjoy being lonely here. Good English speakers are the richest of our country. Lesson 77. Have a good attitude. Poor attitudes lead to poor communication. Poor communication leads to no customer. No customer leads to no job. No job leads to no money. No money leads to no food. In the end of poor attitude, very will make you poor. Lesson 78. Follow to speak English well. This is Super English Show and I'm Gui. Welcome all of you to the video Follow to Super English Well. Rule number one, read nice. Read nice is the first rule in learning English. Normally, your language cannot be free and fluent when you feel stressful and tired. You also cannot take the language into your head when you do not feel read nice. Language is a tool of, commun of communicating, tool to show your mind and your thought. You cannot learn English, you cannot speak English if your head is stuck in. To practice this rule before learning, before practicing speaking English, before practicing, before practicing English, you breathe, in, you breathe in three times deeply and talk with yourself. Speaking English is very easy. For me, please, deep breath in, breath out. Speaking English is very easy and I will speak English every day. Rule number two, memorizing. Normally, almost English learners think that they must memorize a lot of vocabulary, grammar rules to speak English well. So, think they're scared and not confident because they think their ability of memorizing is bad. No, that's not the truth. The truth is that English will be the tool to help you improve your memory ability. Don't try to memorize vocabulary and grammar in Chinese, no way. What you need to do is to memorize as many English standards as possible. The more English standards you have, the better your English level will be. Conquering English standards not only help you speak English immediately, but also help you learn vocabulary and grammar automatically. Don't study vocabulary and grammar separately. You should memorize as many standards as possible to use immediately. Memorizing English standards also help you to be confident to talk with foreigners. Sure, I'm sure. The question is how to memorize English standards. The super English method has special techniques such as repeating, shocking body language to help you take English standards in a into your unconscious mind and use them anytime. In my next video, I will share with you this technique in special super English lesson. Studying English studying English in remember studying English in the right way will help you fast improve your memory. The more English standards you memorize, the better your English will be. Rule number three, reciting. You must remember this rule clearly and deeply. English will never be yours if you cannot recite words, sentences or paragraphs by yourself. When you can recite a lot of English paragraph, I'm sure that you will speak English confidently. Imagine you were in the Hoàng Kim Lake and going to Hang Thai. You can tell foreigners the tale of Hoàng Kim Lake. Your English is good or not, how many English words, English grammar, and English grammar you have to the tale a lot and a lot. Success in learning and speaking English is started by this rule. Almost English learners do not study deeply, so they cannot memorize and recite anything. That's why they never dare to speak English. There's a truth, simple principle, that we just feel covered. We just have to do things that we did before. We just do something covered if we did it before, and of course, you 
only can speak English fluently if you speak the sentence and words before. So you should practice reciting short and long English paragraph of super English. Of super English, you will see the miracle happens. English para are very easy to learn and they can help you build up English easily. Rule number four, the three rule. Three means speak English as clear, as loudly, clearly, and quickly as possible. When practice, make sure that you speak loudly, because it is the only way to know you speak right or wrong. Besides loud speaking, also improves your listening ability. Raise up your confidence. Develop, develop your memorizing, then you never, never forget. Speak English as clearly as possible. Have you pronounced each word, each sentence correctly? Produce the most confident feeling. The more important that speak English clearly helps you to build your standard international mouth muscle. This is the main factor. Have you speak English correctly? Speak English as quickly as possible. Help you a lot. The more quickly you speak, the better you can memorize English and never forget. The more quickly you speak, the faster your advanced pronunciation will be. And the more you speak, the better your language, the better the better your language feeling will be. These are because you see, the first international speaking of foreigner is not your problem anymore. Unison is not your problem anymore. Unison English much more easier and react English much better. Note the technique speak English as quickly as possible. Only practice after you practice technique speak English as uh, loudly and clearly as possible. Don't be hard to try to speak English as quickly as possible because you could not do it well before building your international mouth muscle. Rule number five: Be stone. Be stone here means stubborn, stubborn like stone. This means no fear from English. No fear to making a mistake. My friend, humans get more errors when making a mistake. You just speak English well after making a lot and a lot of mistakes. Never care about how poorly or how well you speak. Only care about catching the chest to speak. Never care about what other people think. Only care about making progress. My friend enjoys losing face. Enjoy making mistakes and enjoy being loved. All the best English speaker is to be losing face is to speak English poorly. So, what will you choose? One, better English forever. Or two, speaking pro English, making mistakes, being loved, then improve. What will you choose? Start learning English from now on immediately. You will, you will speak English well. Lesson 28. What kind of music do you like? Pow. What kind of music do you like to listen to? All kinds, but most pop, rock, and classical. Why? I have to get to a show. Do you want to go with me? What kind of music is it? Pop is Marie Curie. When is it? Uh, at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Yeah, at night. At night to go. Do you think we should, we should have dinner first? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's eat at the restaurant across the street from my apartment. Oh, I think I know the place. The place you mean? We we ate at the we we ate there last month. Last month, right? Yes, that's right. You have good memory. You have a good memory. Lesson twenty nine. Going to the library. Lisa, would you like to go to the library with me? Okay. Do you think we can? Go buy a newspaper first. Sure. First, we will go buy a newspaper, and then we will, and then we will go to the library. Uh, are we going to walk or drive? The weather is really nice today. Let's walk. The weather is going to is going is good now, but I think it's it's supposed to rain this morning, this afternoon. All right. Then let's take an umbrella. Your brother come with us. No, he's, he's still sleeping. Well, it's already 10 a.m. He must have been up uh, late last night. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't come home until 12, 12 a.m. I hope he can come later. I hope so too. I will give him a call when we get there. How do we get to the library from here? It's straight down this road on the left on the left. Next to the museum, it takes about 10 minutes. 
Lesson 30. Where, where do your parents live? How many s t a r Are you going? Are you going home this weekend? This weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much, too much work to do. Uh, where do your parents live? My father lives in Washington D.C. How about your mother? My mother died two years ago. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here, and my aunt and uncle live about uh, 30 miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sister? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in Boston. Do you see them a lot? Uh, not as much as I had like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Lesson 31. Can you help me find a few things? I can't find my glasses and I can't see anything. Can you help me uh, find a few things? No problem. What are you looking for? My laptop. Do you see? Yes, my laptop is on the chair. Where's my book? Which one? The dictionary. It's under the table. Where's my pencil? It's a pencil in front of the lamp. Uh, that's not a pencil, that's a pen. Oh, sorry. There's a pencil behind the cup. How about my backpack? Do you know where that is? It's in, it's in between the wood and the bed. Where are my shoes? They're on the left side of the TV. I don't see them. Sorry, I made a mistake. They're on the right side of the TV. Thanks. And his door and his and your glasses. There, they will need to your cell phone. Lesson 32. Paying for dinner. Excuse me. Check this. Uh, okay. How was everything? Very nice. Thank you. Uh, what would you like to? What would you like in this go? Yes. Can you put it in uh, a plastic bag? Sure, no problem. Here you are. That will be twenty five dollars. Do you take credit cards? Yes, we we'll accept Visa, Mastercard, and Visa and Mastercard. Okay, here, here you are. Thanks. I will be right back. Okay, here's the receipt. Receipt. Thank you. You're welcome. Please come again. Lesson thirty three. Buy your a plane ticket. Next, next, please. Hello, how can I help you? I'd like to buy a ticket to New York. Would you like one way or a trip? Rough trip. When will you be leaving? When does when does the next plan leave? Plan leave. It was two hours. I like a ticket for that flight, please. First kind of coach. Coach. Okay, let me check about availability. I'm sorry, tickets for that flight are so out. How about the one after that? Let me see. Yes, that one is still has seat available. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. That would be $120. Okay, thank you. I got it. Lesson 34 Putting things in order. Uh, myself, can you help me clean things, clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? Which cup? The red one. Put it on top of the table. How about this one? Oh, let's go in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should we? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me. I need to use it. What do you want me to me to do with that paper over there? Uh, you can throw that anyway. I don't need it uh, anymore. The chart is full. All right. Then please put it in uh, a bag and take it outside. Okay. Now what? I think we have finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. Lesson 35 at the restaurant. This looks like a like a nice restaurant. Yeah. It is. It can. I come here all the time. Let's sit over there. Okay. Can you pass me a menu, please? So, what are you going to have to drink? I'm going to have a glass of beer. How about you? I think I will have a glass of wine. Do you want to order an appetizer first? Not really. Not really. Maybe we can just order some bread. Okay, what are you going to uh, have to eat? I'm not sure. I have decided. 
inside yet. Can you recommend something? So I have had the steak and the lobster before. They are both very good. I think I will have the lobster. What are you going to have? I'm not that hungry. I think I'm just going to uh, have a salad. I'm gonna go into the bathroom. While the waitress comes back, will you order for me? So no problem. As in 36, I need to do laundry. Laundry. Hi Anna, come in. Wow, your apartment is up here. It's a mess. I know I didn't have time to put things away before you get it. You got it. Look. Are those all your clothes on the couch? Yes, are they clean? Actually, most of them, uh, most of them are dirty. I haven't done non laundry in a while. Uh, I usually wait until I can do it at my parents' house. My sister and I usually go to the non-domat, non uh, down the street. Why don't you go there? I know I should, but that place isn't very convenient. You have to wait for a long time. Yes, I know I have to do it every week. Anyway, are you ready to go? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not ready yet. I still have to brush, brush my dish and wash my face. Can you wait uh, for for a few minutes? Okay, but please hurry. I think the restaurant is closing soon. Lesson 37. Find finding a convenience store. Uh, Pam, what's, uh, where's the closed ATM? It's not that far. Do you see it? yellow building over there the big one or the small one the big one uh, yes it's uh it's right next to it on the right do you know if there's a convenience store uh, around here uh, i don't think there's one around here the closest one is on third street but that's probably closed now i already i already need to to get something some things before i before i leave well you could go down to 22nd street there are, there are a lot of stores down there that are that are open 24 hours a day can i take the subway to get there yes but that will be but that will probably take, take about half an hour you should you should just take a cup wouldn't that be expensive no from here i think it's only about five dollars Lesson 38, Geography and Direction Professor, West Canada Canada is north up here Can you show me on the map? Sure, look here Canada, Canada is north up of the United States Oh, I see uh, Where's Mexico? Mexico is south up of the United States How about Connecticut? Where's that? Connecticut is, is east of New York What state is west of Pennsylvania? Ohio Okay West North Angeles North Carolina is in California, east southeast of San Francisco. West Boston, Boston is in the northeast part of the country. Where's Las Vegas? Las Vegas is in the southeast. Lesson 39. I ate at the hotel. Hi, Maria. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, I ate at the hotel with my son and her, my husband. Oh, uh, they have good food there. What did you have? What did you have? I had some cereal, cereal, fried eggs, and orange juice. How was it? The food didn't taste very good. Uh, and actually, I don't feel very well now. That's too bad. Do you want to take a break? Mm, no, I'm going to go back uh, to the hotel at lunchtime to lie down. Okay, I'm going to the drugstore later. If there's anything I can get for you, I can get for you. No, that's okay. I think if I rest for a while, I will, I will feel better. Lesson 14, going to the movies. Um, uh, what do you want to do tonight? I don't like to go see a movie. I hear Titanic is playing at uh, the movie theater. Oh, I hear that's a good movie. Good movie. What time does it start? 6.30 p.m. It's a long movie. I think it, uh, it lasts for about three hours. Will you come back? Will you come and pick me up? What time? I think we should, we should get there early, early because they might be so up, it's 5 p.m., okay? Uh, yes, that will be fine. I will meet you at, at your house at 5 p.m. Do you want to get something to eat before, before the movie? I'm not sure there will be enough time for that. 
you can have popcorn and hot dog at the theater if you want. I don't know the popcorn they, they have there. I think they put too much stock on it. Okay, then I will pick you up a little earlier and we can go to the tire shop. Next to the theater, is that okay? Yes, I like that place. Lesson 41. The food tastes great. How do you like the food? It tastes really good. Did you cook it? Yes, it made. I made it this afternoon. Would you like some more? Okay, just a little thought. I'm really full. Oh, would you like would you like some soup instead? What kind is it? Tomato, tomato and rice. Have you had that before? No, this is my first time. How does it taste? It try. It's good. Try it. What do you think? Wow, yeah. it is good. Did you did you did you make that also? Yes. You're really good cook. Thanks. Next time I will change. I will make chicken soup for us. That sounds good. Uh, did you study cooking in school? No. I learned by myself. I have a good cookbook that I read that I read when I have time. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye bye.